by Terry Mugle is probably the perfume I've had the most requests to review ever. And that's really saying something, because you fume heads are all over the place when it comes to what you like. One of the requesters is my viewer, Daryl, who writes, you should definitely review Alien. I love Alien because it makes me think of voodoo. It smells very feminine on paper, but on the skin, it's masculine, and that's weird. The smell is hypnotizing at first, but even if you're not wearing it and someone around you is, you will smell it all day. What? Voodoo perfume? You're talking to a fragrance thrill seeker here, and that stuff is catnip. I couldn't wait to smell me some alien. The opening smells like a bitter clash between grapefruit and milk, which in real life would result in curdling, but in the alien world results in fascination. I get a blast of menthol too, and it feels really cold on my skin, which might be a psychological trick. Either that or I'm losing my mind. This cold, bitter milkiness hangs in there, and then I start to pick up on rich sandback jasmine. There's a hint of the suntan lotion sweetness that sandback lends to a fragrance. It gives alien humanity and sunshine. But the jasmine never really melds with the cold bitterness. It's like a perfume standoff. Happy jasmine on one side, bitter strangeness on the other. While they're busy with their stare down, a woody amber comes to the surface and guides Alien to a sensual, vanillic dry down. This eau de parfum strikes me as kind of a leaner, even weirder, but less va va -voom version of Dior Hypnotic Poison. If you like something big, bold, offbeat, and strangely sort of kind of sexy, then get ready for your alien abduction. I'm Katie Puckrick, and I smell. I'm a